Hello everyone, this is Shannon Meyer, founder and co-creator of the Positive Impact Movement. And I'm here, happy to share with you a conversation I have co-created with a socially conscious leader that inspires and empowers us to connect to our heart, to be who we are, and to create what we love for a better world. I hope you enjoy it. Love you lots. How, how did you come to do the D, to be the DR doctor that you are? Yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, the doctor, as I said, yeah, I love DR, that. <laughs> right? It's not about uh, acquiring some medical degree or no, writing some research content to get the doctorate, nothing of that sort. It is just D denotes distressing and R denotes rejuvenating. So I call myself Dr. Subramani Sarada because I help people to de-stress and rejuvenate on the go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> that is the uh, thing about the DR, what I uh, say about Dr. Subramani Sarada. But otherwise, uh, see, in these times, uh, now everyone is short of time, right? Um, the very first thing, even know, everyone knows that meditation is good for overall well-being. You ask anybody. And even I have done this in uh, uh, seminars, webinars and all. If there are 100 people, if I ask this, 100% of the people will say yes for this. Mm -hmm. So immediately I'll ask them the next question. Okay, then what is, uh, if you agree for this thing, are you practicing regularly? Then hardly 5% 5 5 of the people say yes. See, because there is a disconnect between doing and being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we always approach this from doingness instead of beingness. Whereas the whole thing, the self-awareness is of beingness, nothing else. When I try to do it from beingness, it's gone. Yes. To True. Just give an idea. See, when I want to do meditation, do, okay? Because I also, you know, got into this because I was into too much of, uh, uh, say, depression kind of thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Long, long back. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to come out of this. So now how to, okay? I will sit for meditation because everywhere I read and everybody will say and suggest. So I will sit for meditation. Moment I sit for meditation, thought will come. Are you don't have time, no? You got so many lists, to-do list. Come on, get up. Do that first. <laughs> oh, okay, I will do that. So your allocated time is gone. And uh, now somehow I will make up time because I need that uh, uh, mental calmness and peace, right? So I will make up time and sit. And then when I'm doing, no, what happens? Another thought will come and says, the place where you're sitting is not okay. <laughs> Because suddenly, you know, something distracting will be there. My neighbor's dog will start barking. <laughs> so many things will start happening. I need a very beautiful room. It should be a soundproof or I need to go out somewhere where there are no uh, distractions. Gone case. Gone case. And then somehow in a very rare uh, occasions where I find both time and place, I will sit again. Then suddenly another thought, stream of thoughts will come. Hey, right now your situations are not that okay. First handle them and then you can sit for a one hour. No, I will not come and uh, uh, no, distract you. Over. See, always know the problem is everything related to the thoughts. What kind of thoughts I have, what mm -hmm. kind of thoughts I, I invite. So as Eckhart Tolle says, because I, I really you know, uh, love Eckhart Tolle. Okay. Uh -huh. And he has made it so simple, so simple, practical and transformative, everything. Okay. Yeah. So he is my pet, practical, experimental, transformative. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so same thing I will do. It's so simple. You need not wait for a time. You need not wait for place or situation. Just you can get there because this is nothing to be seeked upon. It is there available to us all the time. Yeah. So get there. And we also did that small uh, thing, right? What yes. is my next third? So it is so simple. Just we can get into that space or my true identity. Who am I? It is there available all the time. The moment I get there, other things, the magic happens. Because that is the thing which gives rise to all other things. It's given rise to all other things. So it has got that organizing power. 
to bring out that balance. So my only thing is to access that space every now and then. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Important is this awareness <laughs> and observation, no? at, at, at every moment. Yes. that we can oh. yeah yes. yes no 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 beautiful beautiful but you also have so Ramana, you have an experience that has brought you here yes uh-huh yeah see uh yeah experiences as i said i was into a lot of uh troubles uh -huh. so-called troubles because yeah. they will mind will come up and say no this is not okay that is not okay your job is not okay your boss is not okay uh, market conditions are not okay. Everything is not okay. Then what is okay? <laughs> I am also not okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> so, but a uh, time comes, then you need to do something because yeah. you go uh, like, you know, you are hitting the wall and then yeah. there's only one moment now. You have to go forward yeah. because there's a wall, a big wall. <laughs> I, further, I can't go back yeah. at all. Yeah. Right. So then, but here something I'm seeing, something invisible force is there. But a day comes, okay, I need to, because this something create imaginary kind of thing, because that is made up of, again, the mind, the thoughts. Yes. Yes. So, so same thing, I was into that kind of situation. Then I started trying so many methods, a lot of things, but then I was getting into a lot further more uh, confusions because people will say this, 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 they attach so yes. many uh, uh, conditions for that. And then how can I do this with all those conditions? People will say you are free, but they put a lot of conditions to do that. Mm -hmm. So somehow you know, in this uh, findings, ultimately it, it came up that it's so easy. <laughs> I can use my body. I can use my sensory perception. I can use even my thoughts and the uh, awareness of my emotions, How I'm why I'm going that way. And then suddenly I can get into that uh, stillness. So easy. And then as I said, Eckhart Tolle happened. I did his six months course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, everything fell into place. And another uh, uh, thing which happened, uh, no, a beautiful experience is Vipassana meditation. These two things actually tied up all my loose ends. Uh -huh. And then they said, aha, uh -huh, this is the thing. And then they started validating my process. Actually, what uh, this process I came through, actually it happened to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At one day, someday, you know, I was just, you know, when you are in stillness, suddenly something will start happening. A yes. lot of things will come up, no, intuitively. Yeah. And then something, it made me to write something. And then I took my diary, old diary, and then scribbling it out. Four or five days later, I saw something has come out. And then I was also wondering, is it my hallucination, imagination, mm -hmm. yeah. kind of thing. But then I started sharing with the people. Then people started getting wonderful uh, results out of it yeah. and then they said oh, wow this is so simple to get into this meditative mode self-awareness is so easy not at all difficult wow. and then i said okay now i also know mood towards my core purpose see how you know all the troubles actually i always say that these troubles hurdles you know they actually are there to steer away us towards our core purpose of uh, life mm -hmm. so that's what happened to me also it's steered away okay ah, this is my thing i need to do this so then i started doing only this thing <laughs> nice so now, yeah, yeah you've been listening to yourself you've been uh, following insights being no following your insights and just responding to them and there you are today no and this yes. is this is the beauty when when we start listening to ourselves not becoming aware and just responding without any any goal set because we're just limiting you know, where we're going by setting a given it's just yes. the being the being and like being. you said yeah like you said before we use we go up with the doing you, what what are you going to do how are you going to do it when are you going to do it and it, it doesn't matter, no? At the end, it's yes. be, and the do comes through the being. And it will exactly. be aligned to who you are. It will be enriching you. It will be growing you. It will be sharing and growing everyone else. And it's so beautiful. Yes, and then I like the, the word co-creating. See, it's also doing, it happens. 
Mm -hmm. Automatically it happens, yes. isn't it? Yes, I love it because co-creation comes from the being and not from the yeah. doing. And I love it, Surbarmani, because it just came into my mind now. I loved it. I always say co-creation goes beyond collaboration, okay? But you know what came into my mind now that I, mm -hmm. I will, I see the difference also. Collaboration mm -hmm. comes from the be, from the doing. Co-creation comes from the being. Yeah. Ah, thank you yeah. for that, really, because <laughs> now it's the yeah. other collaboration. When you go in business and everything is, we collaborate, we collaborate. And for me, it never resonated. And well, I was talking like that before also collaborating and it didn't sound well because collaborating is asking for you to give up something to collaborate. So it's doing and, and taking away some piece of you. Co-creation is being in the wholeness. I am with you, you are with me and we could create what has to come in the being, in the flowing. Yes. So thank you so much for this. You just gave me an insight. And one more thing, it, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, as, as I remember, just a few days back, I had written one post on LinkedIn. It is say that to have an abundant mind, mindset, mm -hmm. what is important? Is it giving or receiving? Okay. So there was a poll also. I received 50 uh, mm, words. In that, 48 words said giving. And two words only said receiving. Mm -hmm. That still I have not explained that why receiving is important because see without receiving you can't give anything, mm -hmm. isn't it? See when you are being you are mm -hmm. in a state of receiving, receiving the grace. Yes. Right. Once you do that, the other things start happening. Yeah. Even when I take birth, what what happened? First I received that breath in. Yes. Because of that, I am alive. Then I started let go. Yes. Out breath. Yeah. Then series of in and out, in and out. But all those things happened because I started receiving it first. Yes. yes. Isn't it? It's very so, nice, yes. yeah. So then I say that even though Paul says only two, four percent of the people agree, but it is the other way around. Am I receiving? Because in the doing domain, yes, giving happens because I need to give, I need to give. It. But before all those things happens, I need to be in a state of receiving. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. And that is nothing but being. And yes. you know, see, we always say that you no know, being in gratitude. It's again what it is. It is being in receiving state. Mm -hmm. Being yep. in gratitude means being in receiving state. Opening your heart, being in gratitude oh, yes. is opening your heart, open, open, no matter what you're receiving. Yes. Yes. And accept gratitude. everything. You are accepting yes. everything. Yes. And that's why I say self awareness is inclusive. Mm hmm. And that's also one of the big difference between doing meditation, being in meditation. See, being meditation, normally we think that, okay, concentrate, focus. Ah, yes, they are the uh, techniques to get into that space. Yes, but that is not the thing. But the moment you start accepting everything, as I said earlier, we were discussing the pain and pleasures, everything, accepting, then you are being. Then out of that, then I have the freedom to pick and choose certain things. Yes. If I don't accept anything, I will lose that freedom. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. completely. I love it. Yes, and 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 also another thing I saw this year, this past year or so, is that in the receiving and giving there is a balance. No, it's no more. You receive a lot and you give a lot. Yeah. This is the balance. I call it the spiral of positive impact because it's it's as you receive, you give. Yes. Then you receive, you give. It's the nurturing. Yes. No, it's, it's like the breathing. Yes. No? Yes. It's the breathing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. in and out, in and out. This this this. Yes. The this more you give, again, you give more. You receive. Yeah. More you receive, more you give. Yeah. 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 Oh, very nice, Ramani. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank for you. your time also and then yeah Love. for being for being and also yes. you thank you so much for yeah, being and sharing so with you <laughs>